Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with a brand new updated Blade Dancer guide for Shadowgun Legends. Updated for 2019, the dungeon was buffed. It did change a little bit, mostly to prevent the, the speed runs. They made a couple changes at the start of the dungeon, so you can no longer just run and grab everything. You have to kill more uh, enemies now in the dungeon. So at the start of the dungeon, you exit the ship and you will go to that hill there where the containers are. You see a void color on top. This is the hill fight. You have to focus on the elites at the start. So there's one void color and a few chargers. So yeah, you can split uh, one or two guys in front and one in the back. Uh, so you get more crit damage, but definitely focus on the elites. And here you see AM bomb will get rid of most of the trash. When you killed enough enemies, this container will open. You have to go there. But this shielder there, uh, if you can avoid killing it, it's going to help you later. I'm going to talk about it. But yeah, once you're done across the container, you will arrive to this area where there's a big door guarded by two crushers. So we'll kill the crushers here to show you guys. But yeah, you see on the big door, there are three spots that you have to place some explosive charges there to blow the door. This is where you need to go. So on the right, there's a tunnel there. So that will be your first explosive at the very end of the tunnel. So we're going to go there, grab the charge, and you're going to make your way back to the big door. But you cannot just go straight to where you, you're from. You have to go around here uh, through that door. And you're gonna make your way around and go back to the big door. Or you can place your charge on one of the three spots. And then we're gonna go for the other two. But there's like five total. You don't need... Like there's, there's more than three. But yeah, we'll go here and I'll show you the three that we usually grab. The three charges. So here you're gonna kill like three crushers and three uh, great enemies, like the the regular guys. And then you'll go and see another charger. So on the right there, there's a, a crusher guarding a door. So once you kill the elites, this door will open. That's important that you kill the chargers that we killed before. Because if you skip the elites, this door will stay closed. And you cannot grab the charge there uh, on the container here. So this is one of the three charges that we always grab. And then you're going to make your way back. There's two doors. So that left door here, you see uh, on the crate there, this is the third charge. But that door bring you back to the big door that you need to, to blow up. So just going to go back and grab the third one. But these are the three that we usually grab. Uh, there's two more. One apparently is a timer door. So you don't need to kill everything. But with time, the, the door will open. And there's one more charge where the void color fight was. And uh, of course, like it's in one of the containers, the container will open. But anyways, once this uh, door explodes, you have access to a new area. And uh, everything is closed. One door on the left, you see the lasers in the back. So we'll kill everything here to show you guys. You also see a utility room there. There's a force field. And uh, you can see on the ground also some red cables that uh, seem to bring energy or power. So we're going to go to the storage first. There's going to be one void color and uh, two grunts. Just going to kill them. And on the far left, the door opens. And here this room is empty. But you remember the shielder I told you guys not to kill. If you kill it, there's going to be a bunch of enemies here. So anyways, activate that switch. It will disable the force field that was blocking the way on the previous area. So now you can go there all the way to the back in the utility room. And it's going to bring the power. You see the red cable on the ground? So once you activate that switch, the power will, well, the cable will turn blue. So you have very limited time. Power circuit restored. 
you go to the security room and you will see the door will close so if you take your time you cannot get in but usually some guys will wait near the door and you have two uh consoles to hack and yeah like there's a lot of strategies if you want to speed run this dungeon you're gonna do things different but definitely teamwork is important in blade dancer dungeon if you want to do it fast uh you're gonna assess the roles to the players and like who does the switch who waits near the door but anyways this will now open and you see uh, an elevator you see some lasers and there's a door here so we're gonna go here and take a right there's like gas or poison in the room so you cannot just stand there you need to move now we're gonna go on the gravity lift it's gonna bring you to this big room but another void caller a lot of void callers in this dungeon so kill the grunts kill the void caller now you see on the left this switch will disable the lasers uh, where we just came from so we're gonna go back there in a minute and there's the console here you need to click at least at the start and it's gonna ask you to look for radar security code and look at the top left on my uh heads up display you have one two three four you need to look for four codes so code number three we just found on the previous room now you now open the uh, radar room but it's uh, it's locked so we're gonna go look for the codes now so code number three uh, immediately appears when you see it in the room. Take a right here and it's gonna be code number one. You see a, a door here. This is your code number one, but first you need to clear these thorns because they won't let you hack. So clear everything. Now you have code number one. So you have to click that another uh, puzzle, Cypher 2 2.0. And it's gonna give you access to code number one so anyone on the team can find codes and if one player find the code it's gonna show it for the whole team so my teammates even if they didn't see the code it's now gonna be on their heads up display on the top left of the screen so we have one and three now we need two and four so all the way back gonna open this door and it's gonna be the uh, teleporter room you got two teleporters one left one right so the left one is teleporter b the right one's teleporter a uh, i don't know how we're supposed to guess that but let's go to the right teleporter first it's gonna bring us to this part the closed door an elevator on the right and there's gonna be a fight here a few enemies of course another void caller so we're gonna kill everything just to show you guys we can take our time look in this room there's a crusher and a, a red switch now it's pretty unfortunate he one shot at me here this is pretty powerful these these crushers are super strong it's very annoying anyway we kill the the power unit it opens this door and this will open the elevator so click that and elevator now you have access so we're gonna go in and go up i hear you have another uh small fight but another crusher here <laughs> these guys are pretty strong so behind the crusher there's a console you're gonna hack and it's gonna unlock the doors to the radar room because you're gonna need to go there at the end to input the code another important step is click that thing here it's gonna reconfigure teleporter b remember the teleporter room with a and b well b brings you pretty much nowhere until you click this but now it's reconfigured so next time you're gonna go to b it's gonna bring you somewhere so this is the room to get access to the radar room so we're gonna kill these chargers and now the radar room can be open we're gonna go there at the end to input the codes we need two more so we're gonna go back to this room and back to the gravity lift and we're gonna go left now and back to the teleporter room to get to teleporter b now let's go teleporter b it's the one on the left and it's gonna bring us to a room with one of the codes we're missing code number four this is the one is gonna appear on my heads up display we're gonna also click that 
to reconfigure teleporter A this time. So we're gonna go back and te take teleporter A again. It's gonna bring us to the last code. So this is the room where the crusher was. This is the elevator. So this door right here brings us back to the teleporter room. So once again, A on the right, B on the left. So let's go A now. It's reconfigured, so it's going to bring us somewhere else. And this is the room. A lot of players got stuck here because they see the code keeps spinning. But there's a power unit on top. So if you shoot it, the code will stop. And this is your code number two now. So we have all four codes. We can go and input the code. But once you exit, you're going to go back to the uh, gravity lift. And go up. And here we go. So radar room now. This is the puzzle. Once you have the code, look at the numbers. This is code number one. We are looking for a bar and two dots. It's on our heads up display. So you click until you find the code you're looking for. And now you know you got the right code. Now code number three, we're looking for an L with a dot. That's not the right one. We click again until you get the right one. And by the way, guys, every time you play this dungeon, the code is randomized. So the code you see on the video is not necessarily the code you'll have to input in your game. It changes every time. So this is code number four. And then the final symbol, the number two, we're looking for another bar with two dots. And here we go we are done all four symbols should be right so once you think you got the right stuff you go back to the console and you click it and if you got the right code it's gonna say combination approved and it's gonna be time for the final boss fight the blade dancer which is one of the toughest fights in the game this boss is really annoying so for the boss fight, the best way to do it is one in front, two in the back. Like Voltaic Fist or any other boss, you need to try to hit some crit damage. So I try to get aggro from the boss and my teammates will shoot the back. So they get a lot of damage. You see we just started and he's almost dead, but we all have supercharge. So you go front to back, try to get in the door area and try to move around the boss. Unfortunately, I got hit here, but... Yeah, it's a pretty tough one. It's tough to, to do it perfect. But the best way is someone try to kite the boss. Door to door is the way to go. If you spin around the room, if you make circles around the room, it's much harder to hit the crit damage. But if you just go front, back, front, back, door to door, there's always easy back shots or, or head shots. Anyways, that was a pretty quick boss fight, but... Uh, it's not an easy one. You need to practice, you need to communicate, you need to decide who's gonna get the front, who's gonna get the back. And if there's one guy on the team that's running around in the room, well, the boss will follow and it's gonna be super annoying. And the more you wait, the harder it is. But anyways, guys, that's it for the Blade Dancer Dungeon co-op in Shadowgun Legends. Hope you guys enjoyed the new guide. Leave a like if you did and leave me a comment below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.